Antoinette, this is Boyce. How you doing? I got your email. It's opened up, so I'm going to go ahead and load those files up. There's your attendance page. I'm going to load up first. And with this particular page, I'm going to see if we can fix the scrolling problem where you said you had to scroll down to see the entire page. So we're going to try to fix that for you first. Your page, I'm going to get it set up here. I'm going to zoom. Your page probably looks like this right now. You're saying you have to scroll up and down to see the entire page. Well, this is how we're going to fix this. We're going to go to the word view, select it. From view, we're going to come down to the word zoom. From zoom, we're going to go, to go over and we're going to look for entire page. We're going to select that and that's going to repaginate the page for us. Now, whether you're in full page mode or regular page mode, you're going to see the entire page. Okay, so now let's go back to the desktop and let's find your other file, which is back to school night. No, it's homework one and two. So let's open that file up for you. And while that file is opening up, just making sure, remember, you go to the word view, zoom, and entire page, just so you remember. And we'll wait for your other file to load up. There it is. Now notice some things about this page. First, I noticed that nothing on this page has been locked and put in place for you. So what I want to do, I went ahead and done for you, is I locked the whole page up. So I'm going to redo that for you so you can see how I did that. And I'm going to ungroup it because I grouped everything for you. And as you can see, I grouped everything and locked everything. You have the choice right now. You can either group your title bar and date together so that they're separate from the two. And if I wanted to do that, that would look like this. I'm going to marquee those three items. I'm going to go to the drop down menu. I'm going to go to locking and I'm going to lock in place. And then as for the actual assignment on the on the page, I'm going to marquee all of those. I'm going to go to the drop down menu. I'm going to go to locking and I'm going to go to lock in place. Now those items are on the page but they're locked and can't be moved. The next thing you want to do is go to the page sorter located at the top tab. You want to go to the drop down menu of the page that you're on and you want to add this page to your gallery. When you add this page to your gallery, which I've already done for you, you're going to go to my content and because we called it a page, it's going to be on the notebook files and pages. Now you called this page December and I've already gone in and renamed the page for you and I call this page January homework page as you can see. Now here's the interesting thing that we're going to be able to do once this page is now in our gallery. I'm going to go back to the other file, which is your lunch page and attendance page. I'm going to open up the galleries tab, go to my content, come down to notebook files and pages, scroll down and what you'll notice is that page that we saved in the other file is also in this file as well. I'm going to take this page, drag it on top, Go to the page sorter and you'll see both pages are there right now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put your lunch page back first. I'm just going to grab it and drag it up. And I'm going to go ahead and delete this page that we don't want. So now as you can see, we have both pages in the file. Now all we have to do is go over to the viewer, go down to dual display, select it, and we're in dual page mode right now. If I arrow forward, I have both pages side by side and you'll notice if we go back to the viewers and go down to full screen mode we now have both pages side by side I hope this helps you you know I'm here if you need me